Hi guys, this is Simon Stark and today we are looking at the life of stars. So there are many stages of a star and we'll start right at the start when the stars form from clouds of dust and gas. Now um, gravity makes uh, these um, clouds, they make them swirl around and spiral together to form a protostar. Now this is right at the start and this is the first stage. Now of the star, the gravitational energy of a star is then converted into heat energy. And when this heat is high enough, hydrogen nuclei undergo nuclear fission to form helium nuclei. Now this gives out loads of heat and light. Now this star then has a st this star is then stable and it is a stable period. Now the star manages to maintain its energy due to the massive amount of hydrogen, which means it's constantly going under nuclear fission. Now this stage is called a main sequence star and this is what the sun is currently. The sun is about halfway through this stage and this stage goes for about several billion years. So obviously it's still got about another 4 billion years until what will happen next and I'll explain this. And this is when the hydrogen runs out the star swells. Now this is because heavy electrons like iron has been formed by the fusion of helium. So there's no more hydrogen to do fusion, so the helium that you have now has to be um, fused together and this create, will create heavier um, elements such as iron. Now if the star is um, small, it will swell into a red giant, whereas if it, will, if it is really big, now it will start into a red supergiant. Now you have to remember, when we're talking about small and big, the star can be typically counted as a small or a medium sized star so this will get um this will turn into a red giant so if you think you can get things about 40 times bigger than the sun now this doesn't heat us up because it's so far away from us and the sun is the closest big star which um but uh, which will heat us up however you can see some of these stars um, but that's why you have to be careful that this, even though the sun is ginormous, there are a lot bigger stars in our universe. So when what, what happens when after this stage is that a small medium star, which is like the sun, ejects the, its outer layer of dust and gas as a planetary nebula. Now this leaves behind a hot, dense solid core, and this is called a white dwarf. And a white dwarf, sorry. And this cools down to a black dwarf and eventually disappears. However, big stars, which are say 40, 50 times even bigger than the sun, um, start to glow brightly again as they undergo more fusion. And they can still um, contract several times. Now, this is where it comes. They form elements as heavy as iron um, and they eventually explode into a supernova. Now this can form elements even heavier than things like iron and this um, ejects them into the universe and they form new planets and new, new stars. Now this exploding supernova throws the outer layer of dust and gas into space and these a very dense core and now this is called a neutron star. And if the star is big enough it can become a black hole which of course nobody really knows much about black holes. We don't really know how big they are, you can get some massive ones but we don't know too much about them as if you go anywhere near them you're going to die. So thank you very much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it and please can you subscribe to this channel and see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.